Welcome to Tech Talk Weekly. I'm Bob from Creation Station. This is our weekly show where we have two to three interesting tech topics for you, something fun from the library, get you on your way in 15 to 20 minutes. As always, if you have a story suggestion for us, creationstation at broward.org comes right to us. And my guest today is Miss Loria Tillman. How are you doing, Loria? Hello, I am well. And yourself? Life has been fun. Loria is the head programmer for the central cluster of the, the library system. You have how many branches do you do now, Loria? I cover 11, including what's regional. Yes. That is, yeah. It, it, oh, yeah. By the way, also a regional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Loria is one of those people who's in the background controlling us all and making sure that everything gets all handled and done for you. If you've got a program that happens at your local library, Loria is one of the three people in the system right now who is making sure that that happens. So that's why we've got this out here. We want to make sure we're highlighting all these people. And we have some fun stories to talk about today. I'm going to bring up our browser and share that to see this first one here. And we now have drones that can land and act like birds. And I know you're like, well, why do I care about this? So there's a couple of interesting things with this. One, drones can only go so far when they are flying out because of battery life, et cetera, and stuff like that. And they don't always, they haven't up to this point had any way of landing. You can put them back onto the ground, but you can't get them back off. And now they have talons. <laughs> what do you think, Loria? Are we all in danger now from... Uh... Necessarily think in danger, but I thought it was I thought it was a really neat concept when I saw this. I was like, just the mechanics of getting um, you know, the drone to sit on the bird legs. That was just amazing to me when I read through this story. But also, as you said, because with the drone, my husband is a drone fanatic and he has his drone, you know, flying around the neighborhood and I keep telling him people, you know, somebody's gonna put you in jail spying on people. But anyhow, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> but just the mechanics of it being able to land, you know, as you as they went through um when I went through the story, um the um, individuals, I believe it's at uh, uh, Stanford, Stanford uh, University, and they yeah. were, you know, utilizing the technology and how he was out in the, um, the wooded areas. And it can, you know, as you said, when they're flying for so long, they have to rest or they, the battery gives out or whatever the case may be. It gives them an opportunity to recharge, but also just to see it from another level of when they're viewing the Jones and when they're utilizing them to view um, the environment and see what is going on. I mean, to me, with this right here, it can be utilized, especially like in, um, in emergency situations uh, where they have exactly. to get a better view of Because something. they can grab stuff. Exactly. They can, and it they, can, you can throw something up to it and yes, it can catch it. Yes. Or it could carry something over and right. drop it right in somebody's exactly. hand. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So an emergency situation when you need to get something in or out that a human cannot get in or out or you can't send a service dog or animal in to do that, you can utilize yeah. these drones and they can get that done. So I thought that was, you know, that was very neat. Of course, you know, the spying, you know, concept always comes in, you know, who's, who's looking at yeah. you, you know. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. but I thought, I thought it was and very neat. And that's cool. always going to be one of those things. You know, it's, it's how do you use the technology? You exactly. Know, you, you can exactly. Use Yep, good or bad, so, it can good. all be used. Yep. <laughs> but I think I I was just like, wow, this is just like it's it's one of those interesting concepts because they com they had to combine two separate different technologies, right, to right. make it work because the legs are like building a new prosthetic, mm -hmm. um, and doing something totally different, and then drones obviously are a whole nother you know, yeah, pretty well established technology by this point now, um, right, fairly lightweight, uh, battery as you said, battery life. That's mm -hmm. the key thing. If we can ever figure out good batteries, yeah, then yeah. then we've got this down. Right. There, there's an article uh, I did that did not make the rundown today about uh, mm -hmm. augmented reality glasses, and oh, there's everybody's up in arms. I'm like, uh, did you read the fine print? They last for 20 minutes. Oh, and wow. then you got to go recharge them for a couple oh, hours. Oh, that's I'm like, yeah, No. Yeah, no, that's not, that's not a good story. No, we're not covering that one. That's when you horrible. get your technology fixed, then you'll come back to us. Yeah, that's that's not good. Yeah. Speaking of getting your technology fixed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> your technology that fixes self, you, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Self-replicating robots. Uh, right. Xenobots, as they're called. Mm -hmm. Right. And these are little biological robots that can do. So they took some frog cells mm -hmm. and created 
um, these little mini robots that move. Uh, I've got an actual video of it here to mm -hmm. show how that looks as they're moving around. And as they move, they are, they figured out that they weren't able to do everything that they wanted them to. So they ran mm -hmm. them through an artificial intelligence mm -hmm. thing to examine this stuff. And the AI told them, oh, no, wait a minute. If you make them instead of these round things like you see right. now, if you make them into the C shape. Yeah, look like little Pac-Man. All of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was like, yeah, that that is that is something something different there. Yeah. It is just, and I just think yeah. you can now put these anywhere and they'll they'll build them rebuild themselves. Right. Right. Yeah. So when I first heard this story, right, because I hadn't read up on it. I just saw the topic, right? I was like, oh my gosh, is this iRobot? What is going on here? I don't understand what is mm -hmm. <laughs> we are doomed. But they're actually the the you know, the possibility that these have truly on a, on a on a very serious note is astounding as far as if they can replicate because they do die out after a while just you know biologically yeah. you know filter out of the uh, out of the system but the, to replicate um organs and lost limbs and things of that nature within individuals and so i mean that is absolutely amazing instead yeah. of individuals i mean targeted going, drug release yeah. And, and targeted drug release where you're not, you know, things where you're actually, you know, treating patients and you're not just overdosing them and killing them. And, you know, something that can go right to the heart of the problem. I thought that I was like, you know, it's it's frightening, but it's it's also very good. You know, it's one of those uh -huh, yeah. sort of double edged sports. Like situations. you said earlier, it's how yeah. do you use this. It's, it's how it's, you use it. It's exactly. one of those. You can picture this like you're running out of control, but it's mm -hmm. actually got some decent you know, it, yeah. self self-limiting things built into right. it right so that you could do and just learning how all of these various pieces can work together and again yes. this is one of those stories of combining technologies because you've got yeah. your embryos and stuff that you're working these little frog embryos and stuff right. that you're working with and then you start applying an ai to it again and you do these yeah. things and it's it's yeah everybody that's why everybody talks about artificial intelligence is because you get this little boost added to whatever project right, you're doing. It's exactly. not replacing humans, it's just helping us all out, figure something out a little bit faster, a little bit better. Yeah, helping it to do better. I was like, that is that is really neat. That was, yeah. yeah. And once I heard that they kind of sort of die out, they it die out after a while. It's not like they just keep going. Like it's just, you know, infinite um, that, you know. So I was like, okay, that that works. I can I can deal with that. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. we're not gonna have this runaway thing, take yet. it over the ocean, yeah. <laughs> they don't take it over just yet. They don't take it over to the world just yet. Yeah, yeah so was, I know. Speaking of taking over the world, you're giving me all these great segues today, Ms. Laura. <laughs> so, um, taking over the world, <sighs> the metaverse. Okay, so th this has been like probably the fifth episode or so that we've said something about the metaverse. Right. By the way, I'm teaching a class in this sometime in Janu late January, so you, mm -hmm. it'll be up there on the library events page. You'll be able to go out and watch and see it. Mm -hmm. um, they're building a metaverse. Right. So real quick and brief the metaverse is a way of being immersed into reality adding a new layer of reality on to what you're already doing so as you're walking down the street you could have that little green line in front of you that shows green arrow that shows you where you're supposed to be going or how you're supposed to be doing things in that but so here's mm. the idea to be mm -hmm. part of the metaverse, you have to give it your information. You have to, it has to know you. It has to see right. you. It has to do right. these things. Can you possibly picture anything going wrong with that, Ms. Loria? Anything? Can you imagine? Nothing whatsoever. When all of your information is out there floating on the, you know, Ethernet or in the metaverse. It, yeah. No, absolutely. No, no problems whatsoever. However, my thing with this, though, and I guess, uh, uh, again, Go for that impl implications. A, I don't. A, I don't want all my information out there like that. I want the people that I want to have my information have my information, and that's pretty much it. And B, my thing with this type of technology, although it is great, I think it further pulls us apart as human beings. You know what I mean? We don't have those social connections that we that we once had. Those face to face, you know, human touch social connections, because it's just so normal, if you will, to go online and build a community and be separated but still together does that make mm -hmm. sense yeah, and so yeah, yeah. to me you know i like i like being around actual you know living breathing 
<laughs> you mean beans. You know, I like to <laughs> hug people. I like to somebody to hold my hand. You know what I mean? I like to look in mm-hmm. someone's eyes when I'm speaking to them. You know, those are things I think I think that's the unfortunate part of this type of technology and with this generation growing up with it, they might lose that human touch and not be socialized the way that that is good. And every human needs, you know, another human. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And I think one of the key problems with with that there is people tend to think about, well, it's online, it's different. Mm. And for this to really be part of our lives, for it to be successful, people mm-hmm. have to understand this is life. Mm. It's not, you don't go online to act a different way. Right. You don't go, you don't, as people do right now, you, you know, you're anonymous and you go out and you feel like you can just threaten anyone or right. Right. you can make fun of people. No, you can't right. do that. This is the real world. You have to be right. part of it. And, right. or it's the real world. You don't get to be an Instagram influencer and only show the pretty days when you right. wake up in the right. morning or, right. no, I just woke up in the morning after three hours of makeup. Yeah. No, um, this is what we I really look like, like and how we really are. Yeah. So, oh, and part of that is I, I, I get that. I want that to happen. I want everybody to just feel like, yes, you are fully invested and you are aware as part of this so mm-hmm. that you have that full, you know, break, like you say, mm-hmm. like, you don't feel like you're, like you're divested from it. Like you have, I, I've got great friends that I've never met in person that I've mm-hmm. been talking with for decades online. Right. Um, but you're right. It's a, it can be a different thing from who you're doing and what you're doing. But then what do you do for someone who is an oppressed person, someone who mm-hmm. is in danger, who is a minority or, I mean, right. and let's look at, I mean, the easy example to throw out right now in the world is the Uyghur minority in China mm-hmm. and how, what would happen if you force them to be into this and now they already have enough problems. With right. what they do and how they do it. Right. Um, yeah. I I don't know. I, I'm I'm really torn on this because I see the value of an anonymity and I see the value of being able to be yourself. Um, or like you said, you want to be in control of who can see what. Right. Right. You know, I don't so want you can put all my everything there, out then, there. Right. Right. It, well, you can have it all there so that it's available to you. But then you only share what you really want to share with mm-hmm. certain people. You know? Like here, these people in the green zone get this, but those people in the red zone only see my name and that's it. Right. Or right. something yeah. like that. Yeah. But still, even in that, because it is technology, it is, you know, floating out, you know, as, you know, over, you know, data points and what so on and so forth. It's hackable. Anything that's pretty much yeah. out there is hackable. And uh-huh. so if you have your entire life floating out there then you know your entire yep. life is up for grabs i mean it's it's already um you know bad now with individuals with identity yeah. theft and you know things that get, can you imagine if everything if everything and everyone <laughs> it would be a smart yeah. sport <laughs> oh you know, i know and, and that's that's why i don't allow any biometrics on my devices at all mm. because mm. once they hack your your retina scan how exactly. do you ever prove it's you again Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not that they're going to duplicate your retina because they don't need to. They can just have the same computer code feed in when exactly. they need to. Something that, right. Yeah. So it's just. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm all for, I'm, I am much more on the lesser side of these things, I guess, mm-hmm. than the mm-hmm. all in. Um, it's very, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago about like medical devices and stuff like that. Like, mm-hmm. do, are you an Apple person, Android? I am not. I'm an Android person. Okay. Yeah. Um, because like, it, like having the watches or having the, the stuff like that, you know, your fitness trackers and all those things. Right. And right. I use a company called Wythings because they're a healthcare company that mm-hmm. happens to make hardware, not a right. hardware company trying to sell me a bunch of other stuff yeah. for new things. Yeah. 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 Um, and I think that that's where we're leading on this. It's like right now you get into the metaverse by buying a Facebook headset mm-hmm. and giving Facebook all your information. All your information, and right. using mm-hmm. a Facebook login that you can see. Yeah. By the way, if you come in and use virtual reality at the library, we don't do that yet. <laughs> um, we, we've got another year and then mm. Facebook's going to make our gear go Oh, they away. have to. Oh, okay. Because right now we do not log into Facebook at all. We don't give any Facebook any information. Right, from right, right, right. 
Um, and in January, 2023, that's supposed to go away. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to make some decisions this year about what we do and how we help our customers and how do we protect them and make that happen. Right. Because it, it and above all, we want to be able to, for them to have access to the things um, and the information yeah. that they want. But we also want to, as you said, protect them. We want to be able to make sure that whatever we are giving them is, you know, not something that's going to harm them and something that's going to to help them. We don't want to be the gateway for their lives, you know, being you know, set on fire, if you will. Right. Exactly. We, we, are, we are the gateway. So you right. we're the gateway. So you come in and learn what right. you're doing right. here. Right. And figure out, okay, wait, what's this metaverse thing that I keep hearing about? Right. Let me go mm -hmm. let me go try it out. Let me go experience what it is at the library yeah. first. Yeah. And then you you decide how you're gonna inv invest in it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Invest your personality into it because that's what you're really doing. You're investing your personality right. and your privacy into this. Yeah. It's not so much money because if it was just money, then... you, are, you are now currency. You are human currency. Yeah. And that is, <laughs> yep. that is what it is because you are now, you are the information points. You are, your information is what they want. I want to know what to sell you. I want to know what you need. I want to know how to market, whatever it is in your area, so on and so forth. And that's what it is. You are now the human currency. And it's just, and your yeah. information is the, that, that data that they collect from you. That's the important stuff. It's not necessarily you as a person, so to speak, you know, but yeah. your, your information. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's and it's really clear because Facebook gives you there's two ways of purchasing those uh Facebook headsets. Mm. One where they take the information and one where they don't. And the one where they don't, they charge you an extra seven hundred dollars. Oh and okay. they don't yeah. let you and they don't let you have access to all of the store with all of the various apps. It's crazy. It is absolutely if they can't nutty. get your information from you, they're not gonna give right. you the stuff. Exactly. Exactly. It's like what's the point? They have a new thing on there um called neighborhoods. It keeps popping up. I keep ignoring it. It's like, do you wanna find out what's going on in your local neighborhood? Do you wanna but you know, when you go in and you look and you you, you go to sign up for it, it's like you know, we need all of your information. It's like, no, you don't need all yeah. of my information. You no, just no, no. need, you need, you already know where I am because you have location devices. So you, you mm -hmm. know where I am. So just tell me what's going on. You don't need all my personal info to tell me what's going on where I am. Come on now. It's like, come on. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. hundred yeah. percent. See, we're, we're on, we're on target with this one. We're in sync. <laughs> And that was a fast conversation, wasn't it? See, we, we could that go on for, for a, we could go for an hour on just on this one topic. So tell yeah. us what's going on out there at West Regional and out there for the, the West oh. Cluster, for East Central Cluster. Oh, I always well. think of it as like this centralish west stuff because what happens really i think when they all got put together you know broward county wasn't quite as as expanded as it is now and now central yeah. is not really central it's kind of sort of you know but anyhow but in any case out at the west regional library we are now starting to reopen you know for our in-house programs and things of that nature so we're starting to get that back on track we got story times so if you have young ones please 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 bring them out and of course we have our chair yoga program which is highly popular is starting back oh, in nice. january yes it's in-house in January. It's been online. It's been online for over a year now. And so you can get it back in-house. It's going to be here at the West Regional Library Tuesdays at 12. Um, we have some online uh, information coming up. We have in um, February, we have a talk with Florida Humanities and they're doing powerful doctoring women and that's going to take place you can go online and you know on our website and order for that and our quanta program which is taking place on the 28th of december that's going to be online we're going to have music we're going to have artists and speakers and songs and so on and so forth that's so that's always a fun one that, I, yes, that, yeah, when i was at it all like that was an amazing always, program yeah. yeah always a fun program and and, and so, yeah. as always everybody if, when you look on the catalog when you go to the site you know broward dot org slash library and go to the events page all of our events now list whether it's in person or online or hybrid mm -hmm. um there's very very few hybrid ones um very few. but most of them are in person or online nowadays i'd say half and half yeah i think we're right at a half and half state right now yeah so as more and more people are coming i just ran into somebody this morning who was like when are you ever going to start programming again and i'm like we've been doing it Come on in. Bring your kids. Yeah. yeah. My kids miss the library. Come on in. Yeah. I We're think a lot open. of people, and that's getting the word out that we are open. We've been open for a very long time. Yeah. However, We're... people just didn't realize that we yeah. our doors were actually open and they can come inside. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. We've been here the whole time, guys. Come on in. <laughs> Thank you again, Miss Laurie, for being You're here. You're welcome. I'm going to throw up our final end slide here for people with the email. Um, again, if you have your own favorite librarian or library that want you want to see featured on the show one week, 
creation station at Brower.org. It comes right to us. Everybody stay safe, and we'll see you next week.